Welcome to Hoodstick, it's nice to meet you. I've known this guy for so long and <laughs> literally uh, Alright then Crossy, tell me about this Honda Civic Type R then. So you got this as a stock or a supercharger, what did you do? It was pretty much stock. I think I had a Typhoon, Typhoon induction kit. <laughs> that was nice. And a Scorpion exhaust, you know, <laughs> some nice touches. Uh, um, yeah, look, it was a swaps car, swapped it for a Subaru about a year and a half, two years ago. And what made you supercharge it? I had it for a while. Put the stuff on, put the um, inlets, manifolds, you know, power went up. But I took it on the track day once and it was lacking. Do you know, like, um, kind of like a two stroke, you have to keep it in the revs or in the VTEC, you know, yeah, as yeah, everyone yeah, goes yeah. on about. And it was lacking, like, it, I, I struggled on it basically. I did alright, the car handles really well, but for power, it struggles. I always thought. Needs more, just needs a push, you know. Needs some. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand why people boost them. I do. I, <laughs> yeah, I get it. yeah, yeah, yeah. That way you boost it because I've got I've got stock type on myself, and to me it feels like it's perfect. It's got the power, but boosting what it just changes the game or something. Yeah, uh, it's hard to explain. It depends how you boost it. Charging is obviously different to boot like turbo yeah, charging. Yeah. Supercharging is different to turbo. Um, well, explain that to me. Well, why, do you, why, do, why did you supercharge it? Superchargers pull from any. I've never had a suit. The only reason I supercharge it because I've never had a supercharged car. <laughs> oh, so right. I wanted to try it, and yeah. these you can charge them. So I did. Um, supercharge will pull from anywhere. Like uh, the power's instant. You press the pedal, the charge is already spinning. It starts sucking out. You go in. Whereas turbos, especially with these people put massive turbos on, they get big lag, big yeah, power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But big lag before the power comes. Turbo in the Civic's been done a lot, so so you need something a little different. That's all. How does it run? Like, uh, tell me what brake horsepower does it push? Because it's supercharged and stuff. Because standard, these are two hundred brake horsepower. Yeah, two hundred. I think NA tuning wise, you can get them up to two. I've heard two fifty, two sixties. Yeah, with the K cams, map, yeah, okay. you know, inlets, all the toys, all the bits. But um, boosting, you can, you can, you know, yeah, upwards of three hundred. Any. Mine, it's a Jackson supercharger, 650 injectors, three and a quarter inch pulley. Basically, you reduce the pulley, the supercharger turns more, you know, more boost. It's, it's basically how it works. But um, Jackson's is one of the weaker sort of, you know, not the best charger out there. Yeah. But that's, you know, I got a, yeah, I got a deal on it. I'm, I'm happy with it, man. <laughs> you were saying to me, like, when you took it around the track, it's got the power, but then it slowly does, it slowly goes down. But explain that. What? Uh, with this, with the Jacksons, they are direct inlet, so there's no intercooler. They bolt straight to the inlet manifold, straight to your head, force air in. Eventually, that air gets hot. Yeah. Starts all the, I think it's pinking or pre or something like that. I can't remember the name for it, but once they get hot, I think yeah. the car retards the timing or something like that, <coughs> and drops the power. So you do two or three laps tops I think and then you're going to be down on power because the heat's up no, no way of cooling it yeah, yeah that's yeah. it the car knows it's getting hot and you don't like it basically the, you know your type R sounds completely different compared to anybody that's the type R what exhaust have you got a manifold RJ uh, performance up dig buff made it for me essentially it was a scorpion it's a two inch system but I was told I'd lose power because it's not not thick enough they no said way. they said I was, I was happy with the scorpion but they said to get rid of it you need to go bigger, so I think it's two and a half, two or three quarters, something like that. It's it's just shy of three inch now. 
No and way. I had I had as many boxes, silencer boxes as I could put in. <laughs> what? I don't want it loud, that's <laughs> the point. I didn't want it loud, but you can't really yeah, stop neighborhood it. Neighborhood and stuff even. So I had as many I asked as for as many boxes I could have put in, biggest. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but not restrict the power. I need yeah, power's the key. Power anyway. but quiet. Power's main, but if you can quiet it down a bit, I, I'd love that. <laughs> Okay, what are you doing for the coilovers? What's the car set up? I have a suspension set up, so I'm, I think it's D2 spec. I think bought them ages ago, coilovers, front and rear. Obviously lowered, not over, you know, I haven't gone too low with it. It's yeah, not like a stance see, thing. Pull a few fingers I on need to, yeah. When you're on track, the car will still dip and dive, and I don't want it rubbing. I hate that, so I've, you know, nice. I've got it to a certain level. I'm going to have it set up properly. But, um, yeah, yeah, just yeah. for now, just for road, it was you know it, okay. it does the job. I seen it's got um, calipers on it. What, what are they? Spoon, one piece mono block. I think they're called. One big chunk of alloy, you know, carved out. And it, uh, they're, so the rally lightweight, you know, they uh, yeah, 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 four yeah. pots, sick, sick. That's crazy, man. And you you done all this yourself, didn't you? Yeah, 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 after work, that sort of stuff, you know, I'll, I'll get bored easily, you know. Yeah. That's crazy, man, <laughs> literally. And, you know, Kwasi, he's had so many Jap cars and European cars, you name it, he's had Skyline, <laughs> Subaru, Supras, Sylvias. He's, he's the reason why I've got into car racing myself. It's inspired me back when there was Landor Street. I mean, BP wrote a stretch, Yeah, yeah, it? yeah, BP. You guys that are from Birmingham, you'd know that is back in the old, old days the racing in the saturday sunday it was all about them days crossy inspired me to do all that stuff and being birmingham wheels and and hamsel yes <laughs> mexico all. should i say Ham yeah mexico <laughs> hamsel in mexico yeah man i swear man you've done some crazy stuff and it's just crazy what you can do with a little bit of money and you just create this track type bar i'd say in that uh, voltage so what's all this tell me why yeah. you done that <laughs> i i stripped it out for weight and then I thought you know a roll cage come up and I thought I like that so got it <laughs> so, what's the, so, so what's the weight now then what, the, what I never I haven't even weighed it that's the foolish thing I should have weighed it standard but I didn't know yeah, I was yeah, going to yeah, go this yeah, far yeah, yeah. you know you, just, you, just, you never know you just do you just you just do it for the drive and the track to get better and better and it performance I see it bits come up and I sort of think yeah I'll have them that's it what have we done for clutch Oh, uh, just a, I think it was a standard Exede, Exede, whatever. Just a decent, you know. Tried to go for a decent name. Underneath the car, you got so many colours going on. <laughs> no, the, the rear brace is, you know, common with Civics, unusually all different colours. You know, the Beaks bar, ASR brace, and you know all the Tegua stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah they're yeah. common. You know, a lot. Of, it goes about. It helps with the handling and all the rest of it. There's poly bush. I've poly bush the arms at the front. Uh, it's about it's about there really. Braced it, obviously struck braces front and back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's what's with the the dials? What's with the? <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a thing for clocks, man. <laughs> I put the clocks in. They all work in that oil pressure, oil temperature, um, <coughs> water temperature, all all the different bits and whatever. But to be honest, once I'm racing, I never look at them. I never. No. I don't even look. They're they're not there. <laughs> it's mad. <laughs> <laughs> okay. it's, it's nice to know when what things peak at and where you are you know yeah, 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 if yeah, there's yeah. a fault it'll start beeping at me to say you know yeah, well, the oil one's the dropped. big one isn't it yeah if i'm on the track and it drops oil you know Jeez. all right then i think we covered up everything should take out for a spin then yeah yes, yes. all right yes.
Yeah. You meant to be interviewing Jeff, what are you doing? You're a hustler. You're a cheeky man, you are. You're a cheeky man. Should we go out? Where do you want to go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. go, go past her, yeah. Let's <laughs> get
I got it from the gimmick man, that's loud as well. <laughs> I bet you didn't expect that. <laughs> Yeah, it's cool. 